So today we're talking with Molly Schneider, Cone Health's Director of Retail and Specialty Pharmacy Services about just that and addressing common pharmacy misconceptions. So let's just start off with this. Someone goes to a pharmacy to pick up a prescription. We've all done that. What should they expect? So when you get to the pharmacy, you should expect to receive your medication. I mean, it, it is a transaction to get a product, but it's also a transaction to get a service. So in addition to getting your medication, you can ask questions. You can talk to your pharmacist about the prescription that you're picking up. Um, plus it's convenient. Pharmacists are a very available healthcare provider. Our consumers are busy. And we wanna make the process as quick and easy as possible while meeting their healthcare needs. I think a lot of people kind of get scared like, oh, they don't have time to talk to me or maybe this question is dumb or whatever else. What kinds of questions could people be asking about their medications? All types of questions. Um, your pharmacist can talk with you about the medication that you're receiving. They can tell you how to take that medication, what time of day you should take that medication, if you should take it with food or without food. They can talk about side effects that you might experience. They can talk about um, serious side effects or side effects, just normal things to expect. Um, and if they're available for your medication, your pharmacist can talk with you about different types of discount programs or coupon programs that can help make your medication a little bit more affordable. Okay, um, just for folks at home, we are having a few technical difficulties here and there, but we hear you fine, so this is good. Let's continue on with the next question. Okay. Um, when it comes to those pharmacy consultations, a lot of times, you know, people will ask you when you're there, would you like a consultation? And people are like, no, I'll just skip it. Why is it important to do these kind of consultations? So it's really important, again, because it helps you to be an educated and an active participant in your health care. It's helpful for you to share um, supplement information, information about supplements that you take or over-the-counter medications or any other diseases or illnesses that you have. Um, but there's not a bad question, like you said before. There are no stupid questions. We're here to educate you and help you understand the medication that you're taking so that you can take the best care of yourself. And I like what you said about telling them what kind of supplements you may take or vitamins or whatever else. When you're picking up like a brand new medication um, that your doctor just prescribed, should you bring like a bag or a list of your current meds with you to that pharmacy? You can, it's always important to make sure your healthcare provider is aware of all the medications that you're taking so that they know what interactions or with your medications or disease interactions that you may have. Um, one benefit at our Cone Health Community Pharmacy locations is that your prescriptions are already integrated into our health system and into our health record. And so this gives us stronger coordinated care and ease for the consumer since the, the, that information's already been captured for you. Gotcha, but this also helps us travel. If we happen to be out of town and we're on the road and we get some mm -hmm. kind of new medication, that's a, that's a great thing to know that, and, and that we should and can ask. All right, let's talk about some over-the-counter medications because so often we all go, whether it's allergies or a cold or whatever, um, is this something that the pharmacist can help us with? Absolutely, pharmacists are happy to discuss over-the-counter medications with you. So approach the counter, ask them, or ask them what they would recommend for whatever symptoms that you're having. Um, talk with them about the other medications that you're on, other OTC medications that you're on, um, any other diseases that you may have, like hypertension, high blood pressure, because we wanna make sure that we're making the best recommendation for you. So this is something that a lot of people believe, that you have to be a Cone Health employee or patient to get your prescriptions filled at Cone Health. You do not have to be a Cone Health employee or um, patient to get most your prescriptions filled at most of our pharmacies. We are here to provide services to our entire community. Okay, uh, another uh, misconception is my prescription is already set up at another pharmacy, so I just can't move it no matter what. That is not true either. Most prescriptions can be transferred. The only prescriptions that can't be transferred are some controlled substance prescriptions where they have to stay at the pharmacy that they were sent to. To get a prescription transferred, what you would do is call the pharmacy where you want to have your prescription filled and give them the information about that prescription, the pharmacy where it is, the name of the medication, and that pharmacy will call the other pharmacy, transfer all the information over, get the prescription filled for you and let you know when it's ready. 
Okay, so we do need to have that information though. The pharmacy where it was filled, the, maybe the phone number or the address, and also the kind of prescription it was. Yes, yeah, we need the name of the medication and the phone number of the pharmacy where it was filled. Okay, good to know. All right, uh, number three. Uh, I don't get to choose where I get my prescriptions filled. That's a misconception. That is a misconception. You absolutely have choice as to where you get your prescriptions filled. So oftentimes your, your physician, when you go to see your doctor, they'll ask what pharmacy you want to use. Sometimes they don't. If they don't ask, tell them that this is the pharmacy I want, I want my prescription to go to. And they can e-prescribe your prescription there. They can send it electronically or they can give you a paper copy and you can take it in into the pharmacy. Okay. Um, a fourth misconception, only prescription medications are available at Cone Health Community Pharmacy locations. That is also a misconception. We have over-the-counter medications and supplies at all of our pharmacies. Some of our pharmacies have the supplies back behind the pharmacy counter, so you might have to ask a staff member for something that you want, but you should be able to get all of your um, OTC needs met at our Cone Health Community Pharmacy locations. We also offer vaccines. So we offer flu vaccines and COVID vaccines, um, shingles and pneumococcal and several other vaccines. If you're interested in that, contact one of our pharmacies and they can help get you set up to get a vaccine there. So that was gonna be kind of like a follow-up question. If people want to know more about your locations, cause one might be closer to their house than what they've been filling their prescriptions with, or maybe, you know, some of the pharmacies that are open later or 24 hours or even some of those things. How do they find out that information? So you can get information about our pharmacies at our website. It's conehealth.com slash community dash pharmacy. And it's got information about all of our locations and our hours. Okay, and then um, what other things do people need to know about pharmacy services as a part like of their well-being journey? Um, as a pharmacist, our mission is really to help people. We want you to make the most of your time and your money and your well-being. So. We can help you with your OTCs or your prescription needs, your refills, any supplements that you might take. So please ask us questions. Please don't hesitate to ask us questions and, and really understand your health care. And you know, when we ask those questions or when we go there to get our prescription filled, we probably need to be a little patient too because sometimes it may not look as busy, but you guys are busy back there. Is that one of the things that um, you wish people would kind of know a little bit? That is one of the things I wish people would know. It does take a few minutes to fill a prescription. And so just because your doctor sent it over doesn't mean it's gonna be immediately ready when you get to the pharmacy. We do need some time to work through any insurance issues that we may have, go through your medication profile and make sure there's not any drug interactions or disease interactions so that we're providing safe health care to you. Right, because you want to make sure that all the things are right and everything is supposed to work the way that it's supposed to work. All right, thank you so much for joining us.